from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the Tom Likas Show. Yes. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about it's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted ballot. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I want to talk a little bit about uh, something I have recommended to you on the air. I've uh, actually I've recommended against this, frankly. But I want to go into detail about why I feel that way and get some of your experiences in this area. I do not believe in what people used to call double dating. And we're not talking about swinging or anything like that. We're talking about that practice. You're going out on a date with somebody that you're banging. And then you or she, usually she, decide that some other couple is exactly what you need to spice things up or exactly what you need to make the evening more interesting. Let me start with this. If somebody suggests bringing another couple along, like you're, again, it's one thing when you're married or you live in suburbia and you've got couples, neighbors and stuff. That's a whole other thing for another day. I'm talking about dating, banging, what have you, okay? What does it say about you when the person you're dating says, let's add two more people to this? You're boring. She doesn't want to have sex with you. She needs a distraction. I mean, why exactly? Again, if it's a date, why do you need other people there? You see, the way I look at dating is if I'm banging somebody, going to the movies or going to the concerts or whatever, is just something you're doing to kill time until you get to what you're there for, which is to get laid. That's all it is. I want it to be quick and painless and I don't want to have to answer to other people for how long it's going to take for us to get to the sack. And then the reason that you shouldn't invite other people along, boys, is because when your girl meets your friends, number one, she thinks this is a real relationship. You don't want to give her, give, give her that impression. Number two... When she meets your friends, she might find reasons not to like them and therefore not to like you. Ever have a chick who you date who, like, let's say you're a weed smoker. And she's not a weed smoker. And maybe you haven't advertised your weed smoking. Maybe you've just kind of kept that to yourself, okay? You like your banger. You put the bong away when she comes over and then... um much of the time you're uh, smoking away. Now you invite another couple to come along, and the couple is some guy you know and his girlfriend. Well, he's probably going to reveal things about you you might not want her to know. I mean, why screw it up? I don't understand the purpose of inviting, quote-unquote, another couple. The other thing is, when they use the phrase another couple, guess what? That means you're a couple, right? Because if you need another couple, another compared to what? That's compared to you and the chick you're banging. Women love this. They love double dating. They love bringing more people out there. It all starts before they've ever, ever had sex with you. You know, before women have ever had sex with you, 
You think, how many times has happened to you guys, okay? You think you're asking to check out on what is quote unquote a date, okay? Ever done this? You invite a chick out. Could be anywhere. All right? Let's say it's drinks. Hey, meet up with me. Let's have a couple of drinks. Then she says to you, do you mind if I bring my friend along? Yes, I do. You know why? Because here's what a date is. We have a couple of drinks to lower your inhibitions, so we're going back to my hot tub, and I'm going to turn you into soup before it's all done. I mean, are you are you acting dumb? Are you pretending not to be getting the idea here? This is what always amazes me. You know, I, and again, it doesn't happen to me all the time. It's not chronic, but when it does, I'm like, why do you think I'm inviting you out for a couple of drinks? Do I have to explain everything to you? Why do you think I'm inviting you out for a couple of drinks? I'm inviting you out for a couple of drinks. After you have a couple of drinks, you're going to stick your tongue in my mouth, and then you're going to do something that if I do it right, you'll regret for the rest of your life. Why do I want your friend coming along? By the way, ever say yes to that, you idiots? Ever say yes to that? The friend is always like this. It's cold in here. It's hot in here. I'm hungry. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to smoke. Will you come outside and smoke with me? And then ultimately, it's late. What time are we leaving? And then you're left by yourself, right, guys? So just on on that basis alone, I don't want other people in there. I never want her friend to be a best friend or any friend there. The friend is there for two reasons. One is she's trying to delay having sex with you or put it off altogether or make it not happen. She's trying to let you know you're nothing but a friend and you'll never be anything more than a friend. The other reason is that she has the friend who can't hook up with anybody, can't meet anybody, and she feels sorry for the friend, so she brings her along on the date under this premise that, you know, while we're out, maybe we'll run into somebody, which never, ever happens. It never, ever happens. Never, ever. So now let's go to the couples thing. I mean, come on, guys. Do you really like going to concerts with these chicks and going to movies with them or having to sit and talk to them all night long? Not really. The reason you go out on a date is to get laid. We say it all the time on this show. The reason you go out on a date is to get laid. Why would you want to bring another couple into that? With all the potential mess that could be caused, why? Why, oh, why, oh, why? makes no sense to me. So I'm wondering, I mean, do you uh, get into this conversation? Are, are you uh, are you uh, thrust into double dates you didn't want? Or maybe you thought you did want them and then found out otherwise. Or maybe you were stupid enough to suggest one yourself. I've got to know. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I've talked to a lot of women and... Did you know that a lot of women don't like your show? Yes, I did. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Uh, 1-800-5800-TOM. Why would you want to add another couple to your date? Do tell. I've got to know. Let's say hello here to Matt on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's up? Not much. So uh, I just moved to uh, to L.A. about two months ago from New York, and I just randomly uh, turned on the car radio one day and heard your show. I think you're a genius, and I, I agree with 98% of everything that you say. Uh, you know, I, I tell my friends whenever they ask me advice pretty much the same stuff you say. Anyway, I was just tuning in uh, when you were talking about the whole, you know, third wheel, when you're going to go out on a date with a girl and she's going to bring a friend. Well, in New York, I bartended a lot. So more often than not, if I was going to get together with a girl, I would just invite her over to the bar because I can, you know, give her as many drinks as I wanted to. I'd show her a good time. And there was this one girl that was visiting up from, you know, from like Florida. And 
you know, I was all, you know, she was going to come hang out. And then she calls like a, a day before and she says, hey, you know, my cousin's going to be in town too. Is it all right if I bring her? And, you know, the same thoughts went through my head like, oh, you know, great. Now i got to entertain two girls, you know, maybe I'll call a friend, whatever, no big deal. As it turned out, these girls got so hammered. And keep in mind, they're cousins. Like, when I say cousins, I mean like like their fathers are, are brothers, like cousin cousins. They ended up coming both coming back to my place with me and uh you know you you obviously know where this is all going you got to leave that small fraction of a possibility that you know the harsh thing could happen yes that what's going your phone cut out at just the uh, right moment that what's going to happen you know a, a menage a threesome oh the menage gotta... thing is going to happen uh well again uh first of all I, I really, I was talking about couples here, but yes, I did mention that. And yes, that is a remote possibility, but 99 times out of 100, it's the fat and or fugly friend. I agree. But and her job it, is to filibuster, to cause a distraction, to interrupt, uh, and finally to say, I'm sick, I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm cold, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. And ultimately, you'd have to go home early, so she has to be taken home early by the person you were hoping to nail. And you're 100%. Again, I agree with you, but don't you think a guy, if he's never experienced a threesome before, has to challenge himself to say, well, well what if this could happen? Uh, it's my belief that if a threesome is going to happen, that's usually telegraphed to you in some way. Um, and, and when I have been in threesomes, usually somebody said to me, oh, I'm going to bring my girlfriend over, and we're going to, like, they, they told me about it. They didn't surprise me by suggesting we go out for a drink to the local tavern. All right. I'll give you that. And so um, I learned my lesson a long time ago. Um, you know, I separate uh, my, my sex life from everything else. <laughs> All right. I guess I can't argue with you there. Usually if a threesome is going to happen, it's going to be telegraphed. That's an excellent point. Yeah, think, uh, and usually when the friend is coming along, the friend is there for moral support or to provide a distraction of some kind. And always and, complain about something. And women know that most men are too stupid to know what's going on, and guys go, okay, sure, bring her along, that's fine. Yeah, the three of us will go out, like three buddies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stupid. But if, a, if a girl's going to bring a friend out, is it better to just bail on the whole thing or just bring a, a wingman yourself? No, I bail on the whole thing. I say no. I say no, and, and by the way, I it, 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 there are women who've tried this with me three and four times, and after I've said no three or four times, they finally get the hint, and then they 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 concede that we're going to go out alone. Very cool. All right, all right, I'm with you, my man. Cool. All right, Matt, thank you, Jose on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Pretty good. Great, great. Uh, well, I was just uh, calling in because uh, I've done the, the double date thing with uh, me and my girlfriend uh, about like six times right now. Why? Well, because she has this. Uh, she has a sister um, who's you know she's my age. She's twenty two. She's a, a virgin. She's never really had a boyfriend, and she always my my girlfriend's always trying to get me to uh, hook her up with uh, with uh, my friends, uh, you know, so she can actually have somebody. But uh, it never works out. She always scares them off. How how does she scare them off? I have no clue. She's just she's just weird. I, I don't know. Like she just kind of uh, uh, I don't know. She just has no personality. Um, all my friends um, they go out with her after we go out on the first double date, and they always tell me, man, she just she just turns turns them off. I don't know. She's she's actually kind of cute too, so I don't understand. Well, she is a virgin. Yeah, but uh, so. So no, why do you agree to this? Why don't you just say no? You know, I try to please my girl, you know. Uh, oh, boy, you're a 22 and already pussy whipped. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what do you have a girlfriend for at 22? You have access to every woman in the world. Yeah, yeah. I almost hooked up with her sister, too, you know, so. The virgin? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean you almost hooked up with her? Well, before I got with my girlfriend, uh, I, I, I was about to get with her, but I ended up uh, um, pretty much hooking up with her sister. Uh, so there's always kind of a weird thing whenever we hang out alone. Kind of some kind of a tension is always between us. Very strange. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I, but I, I just don't get why you keep doing it. Why don't you just say no? I mean, don't you want to spend time alone with her? Well, with isn't my that, girlfriend? Yeah, isn't that the purpose? Well, yeah, yeah, I hang out with my girlfriend all the time, but, like, I mean, I do feel bad for the sister. Cause, That's you not know, your problem. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Why do you care about the sister? That's her problem. Well, I see them so often, and, you know, I like, well, it, I, honestly, because most of the time, if the sister doesn't have anybody, she'll actually try tagging along, and me and my girlfriend get in arguments because because I say, no, I don't want her coming out with us, and so, you know, I figure to... to you got to be a man and step up to the plate. No means no. Yeah, so I guess so. Can't you be a man? Yeah, I can be a man, but, you know, I, I, want, I want that girl to have somebody. So That's not your problem. Why is that your problem? I want to hear this. Why is that your problem? I, I guess it's not my problem, but I know. I mean, I've known them for like quite a while now, and her sister's told me all kinds of sad stories about how she feels lonely. So she's that's kind of not a your problem. All right, then do her. But, but come on, but th this is silly. It's a waste of your time. Yeah, it, it is a waste, and now my friends can't even come over really because there's always awkwardness between us, you know, because. The sister tries coming out, and you know, you know how it is. When Wait a minute, it, where did you live with them? Do I live with uh, with the the sister and my girlfriend? Yeah. No, 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 no. Well, uh, whose house can you not come to? I don't get it. I'm talking about like when, like if we want to go out and hang out, like um, you know, as like a group of people or whatever, you know, because obviously I don't want to hang out with my girlfriend alone all the time. Right, and, and with the awkwardness is with whom? Uh, with like my friends, that, like my best friends, who who I've tried to, um, setting the the sister up with, because the, the they're pretty tight. As sisters, they're pretty tight. So whenever we go out, uh, my girlfriend invites the sister, and I can't invite a couple of my friends because, you, know, you know, my girl my girlfriend's like, oh no, they treated my sister bad. So well, <laughs> so you're completely pussy whipped. Yeah, I guess I guess so. So yeah, how does it feel to have no game, Jose? Well, I mean, I have game. I just... No, you don't. Because if you did, you would not tolerate this from one person. You'd be dating a variety of chicks. Right. Uh, well, I mean, I have no. I mean, I have no issue with my girlfriend. It's just you know. Her yes, you so... do. Yes, you do. Your 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 girlfriend makes her sister the issue. You even told her that you've had fights about it. Told yeah. me that. Yeah, did... we have had. Uh, we've had uh, like a, a couple fights. Actually. So, guess what? Your girlfriend is responsible for this. Right. And you tolerate it. So you think I should stop being sympathetic towards the, the sister? It's or not your okay. problem. It's not your problem. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. You're right. And why yeah. should that interfere? And by the way, uh, you can't bring your own friends over, but she can drag her sister, her pathetic sister, along? <laughs> yeah, I know. And well, yeah, what kind of a man yeah. are you? Well, you know, um, I don't know. <laughs> no kind. Of, Does that I mean, sound I, manly to you? Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, I have no, I have no real problems with my girlfriend. You know? Yes, you do. She told you that you have to put up with her sister being around all the time, and she also told you that your friends can't be there because of the way she says they treated your sister. Right. Which I guess means they didn't deliver the big stromboli or whatever. But the point is, you I can't bring your friends along, but, but you have to tolerate her sister being around. Why do you tolerate that? Because you're a pussy. So, that's the reason I'm a pussy? That's a pretty good reason, don't you think? Well, I don't know. I guess so. Well... If she can say who's coming along, so can you, right? Well, well yeah, you know, I mean, uh, the sister doesn't come out most of I mean, all the time. You know, she's, uh, well, she's like, the thing is, like, she's had... I don't care when she comes out. Uh -huh. The point is, your girlfriend is allowed to tell you your friends can't come out and and play with you two. But yet, she also can tell you that her sister's coming and that's that.
Well, you know, that, that's what leads to arguments because, you know, I say, well... They- I know. Here's what leads to arguments, son. Leads to arguments is any time you do something she doesn't want you to do, that leads to arguments. And you are too much of a pussy to stand up for yourself. Well, I mean, I stand up for myself. Well, then tell her that when you want your friends coming along, they are. If she doesn't like it, tell her sister that she can't come along either, and that's that. All right. Yeah. And I, there will I, be I, no I, arguing about it. It's over. That's it. Yeah, well, that, that's what leads to arguments, too, because I'm like, well, they're not going to go then. I'm going to hang out with them, and you go hang out with your sister. And... You know, they go out, but they don't do anything, and then and then my girlfriend ends up getting mad at her sister, calling her a loser. And it's just, you know, That's it's, their problem, not yours. Right, right. Why do you get involved in that? I don't know. Not because you're immature. You're like a little boy. I feel bad, man. She's so freaking, you know. Stop <laughs> it. Not your problem. All right. Well, do you, I mean, I don't know. Man. I'm just hoping she gets late soon. So she gets not late. your problem all right all right tom can you uh can you blow me up tom gladly jesus i hate when guys are pussified like that i hate it 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number jack on the tom like his show hello hello dad hello son Long time listener, first time koala. Thank you so much. You know what? I'm going to tell you something right off the bat. If you need... We can't say that on the air, Jack. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's a uh, radio show. You can't say stuff like that. I'm sorry. I, I lost I lost myself. If, if, if you need another girl, another guy to, 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 uh, to, to get laid, you shouldn't be there in the first place. Well, that's what I think. Uh, you know, I've, frankly, I don't even like going out with the chick uh, I'm, I'm, I'm banging. I would rather just go straight to business. I hear that. I hear that. You know, but the price of admission is standing around listening to them blab for a little while. Nye, nye, nye. Somebody at work, blah, 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 friend of mine, blah, 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 gossip, gossip, gossip. Come to the bathroom with me. I want to talk to you nye, about nye. your boyfriend. Oh, forget it. You know, why don't they just get together on their own? Why do we all have to go out together? I don't want the other person analyzing my behavior or analyzing what I'm doing or how I look. Forget it. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it. Uh, 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 do, do, do we care to get... Can you see me on Kobe? Kobe style. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. She's so special to me. They used to call it double dating. What do you think about that? Stupid, right? 1-800-5800-TOM. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Pops. What's up? Not uh, much, Mike. Hey, man. Got a quick story for you. I uh, went out with uh, Phoenix 8. Let's just say that. And uh, went over to her house to pick her up. And uh, I had a little surprise there with our friend. And uh, I didn't know that she was bringing baggage. Wasn't expecting it. This was the second date. Uh, you know, when she told me, hey, I'm going to have my friend come along, blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, that's cool. Let me uh, let me just go out to the car and, and make sure that the uh, back seat is cleaned out. So I went out, cleaned out the back seat, said, screw it, jumped in the driver's seat, took off, peeled out out of there faster than an Ethiopian with a lunch ticket. And then next thing I know, she's calling me on the phone. She's asking me, hey, where'd you go? I said, I didn't sign up for a for a double date, you know. Exactly. Wasting my time. Exactly. Yeah, don't, I don't need to get involved in that kind of a gimmick, Tom. I The minute I know that other people are coming, I'm out. Yep. Yeah, peace. I don't need to talk to you. Don't need to bring, I, I didn't bring sand to the beach. You don't need to bring it either. Yes. Uh, I uh, I had some concert tickets. You know, I wouldn't waste more than forty dollars on a day, but I had some concert tickets. I'm in the radio business, so I had some concert tickets. So I called the chick up and said, uh, "Hey, got concert tickets? Staples Center want to go?" And she says to me, "Can I bring my friend? Can I bring my friend? Are you kidding me? Like, how do you know I have more than two tickets? How do you know?" 
Yep, exactly. Like, why would you assume something like that? But that's a, that, that's the way women are. And then so if I'm I want a date, why would I want to bring your friend? I want to see you naked. Exactly. And, and if your friend is there, that's not going to happen. No, that's a roadblock waiting to happen. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to drive my friend home tonight. Is that okay? Have you ever gotten that one? I'm okay, I'm going to drive my friend home. She's it's getting late. She's got to work. She's sick. She's tired. She's cold. It's cold. She's deep. I hear you on that, Tom. That uh, er, uh, er, needs to go on in the bedroom. That's uh, not uh, happening. Uh, er. Exactly. Uh, er, uh, er, uh, that's the only uh, er, uh, er I want to hear. Yep, exactly. But that's what they do. They do that. My friend is hungry. Can we stop at a restaurant somewhere? Just pick up something. Uh, my my friend is thirsty. Can we stop somewhere? My friend needs a bathroom, and I know there's not a place open within ten miles of here. But she really, really has to go. Oh, right, exactly. When I think back when I was a young squirt and all the nights I've had to spend looking around for bathrooms and drinks at three in the morning. I you know I once dated a woman who had a friend who absolutely had to have like suddenly had to have a vanilla shake and French fries and they had to be from Jack in the Box. And this is just bratty behavior by girls. You know, we had to drive around in circles trying to find the one jack-in-the-box in the area. Before we, and we find it, and then we have to sit there. And, boy, you know, after you've had a few drinks, the last thing you want is those fluorescent lights of a fast food place in your eyes as you're sitting there watching her chomp down all that food and stuff, all that grease. And you know very well that if your girl eats any of that grease, she's not kissing you the rest of the night. She's done. Once a woman puts a hamburger in her mouth or a french fry, that's it. It's over. Yeah, exactly. There's, no, there's no way I want that mouth speaking on the mic either. Boy, I think I agree with you on that. Who's it? Tom Likas. Tom Likas. 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 Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Likas. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. Nora on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Nora. Hi, Tom. What up? Okay, well, I have this friend, and she always calls me, and she always tells me, oh, come out with us, you know, like her and her boyfriend. And, like, I always, like, go, but... He always, like, judges me and looks at me weird and always, like, says something because, like, I kind of feel weird going out, too, because I feel like I'm blocking his sexual time with her. And, like, but then I, I feel bad saying no to my friend because I'm not the kind of person that says no. Does she tell you why she needs you there? No, she's just like, you know, like, I don't want to go alone. And she's like, I, I really want you there. And, like, I feel I feel bad telling her that. I like, love you, Tom. I wish women would just say to guys, uh, you know what? I don't want to have sex with you. So if we go out, I'm bringing my friend along, but it's because really I, want, I just want to send you the message. That there's going to be no sex, okay? Yeah, but the thing is, they always, like, you know, they always, like, get into this corner and they start making out and, like, doing stuff. And I feel weird, you know? Like, I'm not the kind of person that says something. I just, like, you know, give them time alone. Like, I walk off, I'll talk to someone, or I'll try, like, going to the bathroom. I, uh, we can't say that word on the air, much as I think it's a great I'm word. Sorry. sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes, you don't want to get in the way of their uh, sexual activity. But so what are you supposed to do, sit around and wait for them to finish? Excuse me? What are you supposed to do, sit around and wait for them to finish? I guess, because like, I, I, like, I don't know what she wants me there for, but like she always asks me, you know, she just... She just doesn't have fun when I'm not there, I guess, or whatever. But well, maybe she's I, dating the wrong guy. Well, I tell her that all the time, you know, like I'm like I don't think he's good for you, you know, like cause, and 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 it's kind of weird because like I don't have anything against him. It's just like he's like the thuggish, ruggish kind of guy, and he's very weird around me. And like I, 
I, I don't know if he's, like, okay with me going out with them or not, but, like, he always looks at me weird and, like, says dumb things around me, you know? Like, I just I just feel weird sometimes. And, and I'm really, like, I, I'm not the kind of person that says no, you know? Like, I, I, I feel bad saying no to her. I wouldn't feel bad. I'll tell you what. Besides, what happened to your sex life? My sex life is, like, no sex right now for me. Why not? Well, uh, it's just, I, I'm, um, I don't know, like, I guess I haven't found the right person yet. Mm, you know what I do when I haven't found the right person? I have sex with some of the wrong people. Ah, uh, let's figure out the right one, right, yeah. You know, if I, if I have sex with some of the wrong people, the right one might slip in there. Well, well, yeah, but, like, for me, I don't know, like, she, well, I've gone out, like, with a couple of his friends, but I think they're really, like, annoying and obnoxious and weird, so I kind of, like, I usually, like, I'll be like, oh, okay, you know, I'll come if, like, no one else comes, you know, like, I'll, I'll be that. I feel like, yeah, okay, I'm the third wheel or whatever, but I, I just feel bad saying no to her because I've known her ever since I was, like, a kid, you know? Like, we've grown up together. But, then, then, but what are your chances of meeting the right person if you're spending your time going out with her when she goes out with, with her friend? That, yeah, see, like, I, I don't know. I guess I have a problem saying no to her. Well, yep, you need to fix that, dear. Yeah, well, she's sitting next to me right now. <laughs> you see, the person you should feel bad about saying no to is the next guy who wants to have sex with you. Oh, yeah. Well, you're you're right. That's the guy you should say yes to. Yeah. Well, um, yes. Thank put you. put her on the phone. What is her name? Her name's Anna. Hold on, hold on. Put Anna on the phone. Hi, Tom. Anna, why why is it necessary for you to invite your friend along on a date? Because I get so bored with that stupid fruitcake, and then I told. Well, why are you dating him? I'm sorry. You get you get bored with that stupid fruitcake. Why are you dating a fruitcake? Um, just to waste time until I find the right one, I guess. Yeah, but why? But the point is, if you're not having fun, why do it? Well, I I stopped. That's the thing. Now I stopped dating that guy. No, but you but you did it for a long time. No, not so long. How long? A month. It was only a couple of months. Couple of months. It's a couple of months of your friend's time that you're dragging her out with you. I know, I know. And she kept telling me, you know what, I don't want to come, I don't want to come. And I told her, you know what, I want you to be there. And this guy would not take no for an answer. Like, I don't want to go out with you. You're boring, you know. All you want to do is just spend time with me and not have fun. You know, doesn't he want to have sex? <laughs> that guy wished he would have sex with me. <laughs> no, I'm sure he did. But then if, if you don't want to have sex with a guy, why are you no. dating somebody you don't want to have sex with? I guess it was just something that it was like, I, I'd rather be friends with you, you know. Just but you like, didn't say that to him. Yeah, I, I told him. I told him like a month ago. For, and you don't want to be friends with him. You just don't want to have sex with him. You know what the thing was? Yeah, I understand. Totally, I understand. And like you said a couple of days ago, like, you know, if you don't want that person chasing after you, whatnot. Stop taking their phone calls. And I did. I stopped taking his phone calls. And it does work for all those stupid people out there that keep saying, no, no, no. I feel bad. Don't feel bad. A couple of phone calls here and there and you don't answer, they will stop calling you. Trust me. So he stopped calling me and I stopped. I cut off the relationship. But the minute you are you realize you're dating somebody you don't want to have sex with, why don't you just stop? I did, I did. I know. I carried it on too long and Too just, long is more than one date. Yeah, that's true. That's you're so right. And I mean, your friend should be out there getting laid, not being your moral support. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Seriously. Now I spent all my time with her. <laughs> yeah, now the point is that how is she ever gonna get laid? Well, we're trying. We're we're building on that. We're working on that. Well, right that, now. that's not a we thing. That's a her thing. Why? Why is that your problem? She needs help, Tom. She kind of needs help. Why is she homely, fat, fugly? What's the deal? She's no. She is none of none of that. Come she on. Is, she's very very like um. Hot chicks have no trouble getting laid, dear. Scared, Tom. She's scared. What is she scared of? Like. 
the guy. Let's let's say her having sex with someone and then her him leaving her or whatnot. She just scared of the whole fact of getting, you know, finding the right person in the right way. You never know what's going to happen. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell her earlier. You have sex with the wrong person for a while, okay? Yeah person will come along. Stop course. waiting for the right person to come along. Stop it. Nope. Nope. How nope. are you going to know who the right person is unless you've had sex with him? Exactly. And, and believe it or not, 90% of the relationship is sex. So. Well, I know nobody wants to believe that, but it's true. It is true. A hundred. I, I agree 100% with you. It is true. It's sad to say sometimes that it, it it is but 90 percent of the relationships any person i don't care who denies it and who you know accepts it it is 90 percent of a relationship it is based upon sex if you have good sex then you have a best relationship in the and world and that's why you should stop looking for the right person and start looking for somebody to have sex with because if the sex is good many times the rest can follow Yes. Can you take me out like Kobe style? Yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That is our telephone number. Let us say hello here to. Uh, uh, Craig on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom, father of mine. Craig, my son. How are you? Great. And I care. I tell you, before we get into this double date, some of these listeners, I don't know where they come from. Do you? How often do you get frustrated? Well, uh, I, I have millions of reasons to be patient. <laughs> That's true. And good for you. God yes. Bless there. You know, I have a couple rules when it comes to double dating. Right. Maybe we defined it. And I think that for the average listener or someone that, you know, real young, I think they need to listen to what everything you say literally as I do. But uh, I think when you become more seasoned like a listener and you start learning what Father's trying to teach us, you, know, you start learning things and you can make decisions. It's date specific. A double date means two girls, one guy. It also means the girl never picks, never chooses, never has a say-so in it. If you want another gal to come along, you make that decision. That girl always has her own transportation. And, uh, and sometimes it works out. Very rarely does it work out if you just do the typical double date. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, how many guys out there have had the two chicks and they want to sit together in the back seat cackling while you're driving like a, like a friggin' chauffeur? Right. That's when you pull over and let them out. Let them out. Absolutely. And there's just absolutely no, there's no point in it. Uh, they, people need to listen to what you uh, what you preach, Tom. You ever thought of being a preacher? Maybe I should. I think you should. I would because be I could get the entire congregation to get down on their knees. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and that would be the fun part of it, right? That's right. Well, listen. I just did. I, I, I'm sure you have a lot of callers. I'm a long time listener. Never called. Heard the topic. And I got to say, some of these listeners, I, I don't know if they just they're they're dumb, if they're ignorant. If they have no backbone, and some of these women that call, they'll say something, you'll completely rebut them, and they agree with you without even giving it a breath. I mean, and you, and you, you think to yourself, do they have a brain? Do they think? Are they just opening their mouth and saying whatever comes out, and then when you say something agreeing with you because what you say is right, do they think about what they say? I, I'm amazed sometimes that I just I sit here and I laugh and I laugh. I drive a long way every day to work and back, and I listen to you, and I just... You're, you're a better man than I am. I, don't, I guess you have millions of reasons, like you said. That's what it comes down to. I have millions of reasons to be patient and to listen to what people have to say. And you keep preaching the good word, Tom. Can you take me out Kobe style? Of course I can, Craig. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.